So a lot of questions come up with regards to anaerobic and aerobic respiration. And when you do a direct comparison, everyone's like, aerobic respiration produces way more ATP molecules. Why would anybody bother at all with anaerobic respiration? So it turns out it's good that we have both because the anaerobic respiration can provide us with some immediate on the spot needed ATP for short bursts of time. It's not dependent on the oxygen concentration, so we can actually call upon it really fast as long as there's a little bit of glucose left in our body. So a lot fewer ATP molecules are given out. We already know that because it pales in comparison to the full-on aerobic respiration. We can supply the ATP in a pretty rapid rate in a very short time. I mentioned it's not limited by oxygen. And it's good for these two activities that I never do. Sprint, actually in high school I did sprint and I was pretty fast. I got second place once out of, I don't know, three people or 30 people, I can't remember. Or weightlifting. Uh, I've tried a little bit, but uh, gave up on that. But anyways, I had some energy. Always get really hungry after that. And anyways, uh, anaerobic respiration can be used to supply ATP in these short amounts. So people don't sprint. You know that you know uh, the sprinting races tend to be really short, 100 meters, 200 meters. If you're a pro, maybe you can sprint for 400 meters. But most people can't run at full speed for longer than 200 uh, meters because you just start to build up a lot of soreness. It's because of lactate and lactate makes people sad because that's the burning sensation you feel. For me, that's what I feel. I've mentioned this in other videos when I'm climbing up the stairs to get into my classroom in the morning every day. Uh, that's a horrible feeling. It's because I'm very unfit. Uh, anyways, you can do this process for about two minutes max until your blood pH drops too low. And what that means is basically you've built up too much carbon dioxide and you've, you've got an oxygen debt. You need to repay the oxygen. That's why after sprinting like that, everybody starts breathing really deeply and really heavily to try and bring in more oxygen in order to help process and break down some of that lactate. You need to repay back this oxygen debt that you've built up. So we can't do that for too long. Eventually, we all must use some aerobic respiration as well too. So ATP, uh, good in short supply for limited amounts of time with anaerobic respiration, but that's why it exists. It's to help us out when we really need it. And sometimes you just gotta run when that dog, that stray dog starts chasing me.